Have you ever encountered the issue of the application was unable to start correctly? 0xc00007b when opening games or software? Usually, this happens when a user installs 64-bit software in place of the 32-bit or the other way around. Most of the time, these errors are usually DirectX CNAT framework or Visual C++ related. Users who mostly run a 32-bit application on Windows with 64-bit could potentially lead to the 0xc00007b. Let's see how to fix this problem. Method 1. Reboot your computer. Sometimes, the cause of this error may be trivial. So a simple fix like restarting your computer may 0xc00007b fix you need. Method 2. Update the DLL files. Updating the DLL files is complicated but effective as well. It requires replacing the exinput13 DEL file located in the C drive. Simply corrupting this file could result in the 0xc00007b error. Step 1. Download the exinput13 DEL file. Step 2. Unzip the downloaded file to a secured location. Step 3. After unzipping the exinput 13, Dell file, copy and paste it into this directory C backslash Windows backslash SISWO64. Method 3. Run this program in compatibility mode. Sometimes this error could be because the Windows operating system is incompatible with the program you are attempting to launch. Below are a few steps you can take to initiate this fix. Move your cursor to the program and right-click on it. Hit Open File Location. Right-click the application file. Click on Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, tick to run this program in compatibility mode for Box. In the drop-down menu, select the Windows version of your choice. After executing Step 2, hit Apply and OK. Launch the program again to see if the problem has been fixed. Sometimes, it can be confusing because identifying the exact cause of these error most times is difficult. However, you can use a third-party software such as Tenorshare 4 DDIG data recovery software to prevent data loss or corruption due to the 0xc00007b error. 4 DDIG data recovery is a professional software that can scan your computer and find out any lost data. You can use it to retrieve important files required for software startup with just one simple click. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe us. See you guys in the next video.